Okay, it is the end of the year. It's like two hours until midnight, so two hours until 2024. And I decided I wanted to uh, make a video going through my Spotify wrapped of the year. Um, it's been a while since I filmed myself like on camera. Um, I have a few ideas that I want to make, like different vlogs and videos uh, going into a new year. Usually I just focus on making music, but it's, it would probably be fun to share more per personal things and uh, do music related videos uh, besides, just, besides just producing. Anyway, uh, let's go to my Spotify wrapped here uh, and see how the year went. So I briefly checked this like a month ago when it came out, but I uh, I didn't go into depth, which I wanted to save in, into a video. I guess I just continue here. Okay, so we had 523,740 listeners. So around half a million unique listeners in a year. That's pretty crazy considering I have I don't have that much like monthly listeners, but this is a pretty crazy number to see. Put, puts it into perspective, you know, and uh, yeah, there's a huge number. <laughs> Big stream of music. Okay, so here it says 4.4 million streams. Also crazy, I, I know I had around 4 million streams the year before in 2022. Uh, I'm not sure this is completely correct because uh, in my Spotify app it says five and a half million so it's somewhere between four and a half and five and a half uh, it's still a boost from the year before so <laughs> i'll take that uh, well, yeah it's a good time to talk about time <laughs> sure uh, so, uh, okay uh, I barely understood that, just each number of seconds. Okay. What about years? 37 years in one year? Pretty crazy. The Earth to the Moon four times? But who would do that? That's the, what I really admire about most of my listeners, it, it is like a dedicated type of listener that comes back for to listen again and to discover more songs. Uh, it makes me really want to make more music, you know? So I have 60 almost 64,000 saves this year. That's good. I think I, I used to not have that many saves in previous year years. I think this is mo mostly like the top two, the top three songs maybe. It, uh, so th the whole thing is like, I probably released around 25 songs this year. I tried to release around two songs a month. Uh, it's been like pretty, what I'm usually what I do. And I would say it's like every 10th song, so 10% of my songs usually do well. Which means you have to release 10 songs for one song to actually do well and like... Yeah, you need to just grind and release a lot of music. Which is what I'm gonna do in the new year. I have a plan and I'm gonna make another video about that plan, so... Yeah, this is my most popular song. It is really interesting to me because the ocean sings to me in Turco's waves. I started making this song exactly three three years ago. So at the start of 2021, I made this song and I thought no one will like this song because it it's like three different songs in one. It's f first of all, it's ten minutes long and. Uh, I was like, no one is gonna want a really long, long song, maybe. I mean, I don't mind long songs, and probably a lot of people don't mind it, but it's so different, because it's chilled up, it's like a trap, 
and it ends in hard style, which I I'm not a hard style artist, so the whole song is like a, a progressive surprise. It's just so many ideas put into one, I just assume that people would be like, ah, cool, and like not like it. And in, it just became my most popular song. And I actually signed this song with Universal about a year ago. Uh, I'm an independent artist, uh, I, I'm not on any labels, but I have one song on Universal, and this is the one. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Um, I'll actually, I'll own the song again in like one year. I did just have the song for like two years, and uh, yeah, and then I own it again. It's pretty complicated. Usually, most of my popular music is like old songs from 2013 and 2014. So it makes it makes me happy that even newer songs can be what's pushing my music out there again, like uh, Ascension, my song Ascension, and this one, uh, and a couple of my piano songs. So it makes you want to push and make new songs that are like always better, always better and more interesting. For me it's not always like to make better music, it's about having a, a better idea or a unique idea that is fun for me. Oh wow, so half of the, almost half of the people that streamed me were completely new. So I reached 265. 267,000 new people. That's also not bad. It's very good. Because you want to be able to reach new people. But for me, it's always been important to care about the long time listeners, the people that have been with me for like seven, eight years, you know? I want them to feel like I am working hard for that kind of music that they enjoy and I also enjoy. <clears throat> okay, USA on top, Germany, Canada, Sweden, United Kingdom. That's what I I kind of already knew this. Uh, I'm very surprised that Sweden has become uh, like a number four because I'm from Sweden. I live in Sweden. I was born here, and uh, I have you used to have no listeners here. It would be only United States and Germany and UK. And now both Canada and Sweden is growing, so that's that's new new to me. Oh, these are some countries I've barely even heard about. Small countries, probably island island countries. This is probably because they just got Spotify, I assume. Could it even that my niche small underground genre can reach these places one of the coolest things i heard was like last year i got a mail from someone he said he was in a restaurant with his family in greece and he heard my song uh, the ocean sings to me in turquoise waves he heard a song on the radio on, in the, on the restaurant in the restaurant and he he had to shazam the song to find it and he almost didn't because the song was like ending and they were just he said that they were like mesmerized by the song and getting a mail like that it means the world to me it makes you feel like your music matters in a in a way okay so people sent a link almost five thousand times i feel like that's uh it's both good and bad i can't really put that into perspective I feel like people send playlists more, mostly these days. Uh, okay, so the direct link for 48, WhatsApp, Facebook, text, yeah. I send music links a lot. Yeah, so this doesn't, this doesn't surprise me. Uh, whoa, that's crazy. So my number two songs, um, this is so wild because Scarlet is it's a metal song. These two are like chill step or dubstep, like melodic dubstep and chill step, chill out. I'm because I'm a metalhead. In like, I I like to listen to rock and metal music. Always have growing up, and then I became an electronic artist. <laughs> uh, but Scarlet I made in 2016 and I released it in 2017. 
is also just like uh, this song. I thought no one would like this because it's so different. It is a metal song and I'm not a metal artist. But uh, for some reason it has climbed over 1 million streams. Uh, a lot of these have reached millions of streams already. Uh, I keep getting like surprised of what songs that people enjoy. What were you doing on Friday, April 14th? I don't know actually. Probably re release something. <laughs> oh, I read. That's wild. I mean, you never see this number at the same in one day. That's wild. That's really, really, really high. Yeah, of course they have good taste. I hope. Oh wow, that's me actually. The receive Oh, you oh, canvas, okay. Yeah, I've been trying to push more canvas because it's pretty fun. Everyone says you get more <laughs> streams by having canvases, but I don't really understand the logic. Like, I don't... I personally pref almost prefer to look at the cover art. I don't need it to be like a moving canvas, but it is, it is fun. Sure, it's fun. Are you a gardener? I mean, not really, but maybe one day. I used to live on the countryside, so we had gardens, growing stuff. Uh, we had 3% growth, 9% uh, streams. Uh, so I can say that at the start of the year, the start of, so basically, let's say 11, 10 months ago, my Spotify grew from like 90,000 monthly listeners to like 120,000 in only one or two months and it kind of blew me away. I was like, how am I growing this fast right now? And uh, so I started a year really nice because I'm like, oh, what is going on? It's growing so fast out of nowhere. Uh, and I think that's because I released three songs in uh, November, December. And then I released a lot of new songs in January, February. And almost all of those songs, these are like the songs called A uh, Boy Named Stargazer, Sweet uh, Surrender, and The Blissful Insanity. And those songs, I think, gave way for like my newer sound that I, I really I liked those so songs. And uh, they did really well in, the dis in Spotify, like Discover Weekly. Uh, and then, unfortunately, unfortunately, in the summer, uh, Spotify introduced a uh, Spotify discovery mode, which all my music automatically enrolled in, and that actually made me drop a significant amount of uh, listeners in these past few months. So, I'm actually I started the year at the highest high, and I am ending at the year at, at the lowest low, uh, which makes it like a really crazy roller coaster. Uh, I, my Spotify used to be very stable for like many years. I would just sit at like 90,000 90, monthly listeners, very growing like a few percent all the time. And now I experience like crazy highs and crazy lows, and I've never happened before. So I actually left the Spotify discovery mode uh, three months, three weeks ago, uh, and now I'm losing even more. And I've heard that you need to wait a few months to get back to the normal like the weekly discover algorithm stuff like Spotify is so much to do with how people discover you and all the alg algorithms so I need my Spotify to recover and to grow again and the best thing the best way about that is probably just to release a lot of music going into the new year uh, and make good music like that's the most important part so I'm a top 10 artist for six and a half thousand Top five, three point three. How many? How many number one? Probably like I don't know, five hundred. Oh, seven hundred. So I actually, I'm the number one artist for seven hundred sixty-seven people. Yes, I am the most listened to in almost eight hundred people. That's crazy. Okay, I think I'm getting like to the end now, maybe. The one, the, 
0.001%. What the they listen to 56,000 minutes. What? That's a lot. They must have it on when they like work or something. I listen to a lot of music and I think my personal Spotify had like 70,000 minutes, but that's like hundreds and hundreds of artists that I'm listening to, so it's not just one. Alright, we're at the end. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, and mostly I just made this video as a thank you for supporting me this year and uh, I've like yesterday, today, I've been working on, on my new song, so like I'm gonna start the new year with a bunch of songs and I'm so excited to get them out there. Yeah, so thank you, take care.